Saturday night. You are looking live at the best middleweight on this roster, the Brazilian Paulo Costa, the artist formerly known as Bohashia. But man, has he been erasing UFC competition left and right. His fight against Joel Romero will be one that they are talking about deep into the next century. This man is the total package, and tonight looks to inch one step closer to future UFC glory. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Paolo the Eraser Costa. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this ready. one. Ready. Good. All right, early round action here. Paolo Costa was humble yet confident about this particular matchup. He believes he has a decided power advantage on the feet, but he also said if this fight hits the ground, I really believe I can pound this guy out as well. So, Paolo Costa, needless to say, bullish about his chances of getting a win here tonight and elevating his career to that next level. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Punch lands. Oh, and the high kick lands. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Oh, you can hear that thwack in the nose bleeds as the kickboxer lands a body kick early here in the fight against the boxer. I mean, this is the range that he needs to fight at. He doesn't want to be close where he's throwing hooks to the body and punches. Use those legs. Dig that shit into the body and try to slow down your opponent. Nice shot to the body there. I mean, right away, no feeling on process. These boys just want to start a fight. Nice lead hook by Costa. I will no surprise the striker has come out at his aggressive best here early, really throwing everything with fight ending intentions. He's throwing everything to end the fight, and he has to, because the longer this fight goes, his opponent has the advantage. Push kick there to the body. Still in this. Keep moving. Don't give up. Just over three minutes to go. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. And he landed. Great job. Oh! Nice jab. Oh! There's the leg kick. That one checked by Costa. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Yeah. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. 
Leg kick lands nicely done. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Shura's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Costa gets caught with that punch. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to finish. Oh! Oh my goodness, what a right hand! Final second to round one! Well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. You ready to fight? You ready. Let's All right, second round underway. Well, there was a moment in that group. See the land right there. His opponent's wobble chip. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, big left hand. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just out of range with that left hook. Yeah, that punch was blocked. Well, he misses with the left punch there. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. This, dude's in the zone. this guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. Two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, big left hand there. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, man. Good stick, Oh, big strike lands. 
Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to take down that pitch. Oh, just opening up on him now. So we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taking a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to... You heard him back. Just over two minutes now to go. Do not back up. Let's go. He's worked. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Landed that left hook. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. His nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Misses with the left hook. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Less than a minute now to go in round two. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. And there it is again, targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You've doled out all this damage. Might as, go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not going to move his head. He's still trying to go out on his shield. He's, he's so stubborn in trying to prove that he's tough. It's really costing him right now. We got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you've got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown. Oh, oh. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now... All the blood that's coming from the cut. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round, and how about the swelling at this point on the fighter's forehead? That is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. It is only getting worse given all the offense that's coming back. We'll see if they can get the end swell on there and try to keep this fighter in the fight. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been... He hurt real bad. Big right hand. Well, you know, Logan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart. Courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. Able to block the punch there. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. 
Costa's blocking well now. He's got a shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your double. Just over three minutes to go in round three. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He throws it at a time when you expect so many different strikes, but it's because he has such a vast knowledge of just finding that strike. Choi's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Oh, picture-perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. With two minutes and change to go in round three. All right, so the head damage continues to land. And at this point, man, got to think the ringside physician is even getting antsy to check it out. Oh, yeah. You could tell that they want to check it out. But hats off to his opponent putting together a great game plan for staying on that face, making sure that when he saw the swelling start, he continued to drive him down that path to where he is right now, where he's almost un unrecognizable. Boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues. Oh! He's hurt now. Oh, that's big. Under a minute now to go in the round. Joy gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Costa's cut on his nose. Manageable for a while. Maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Choi's cut on his nose. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Oh, he's stunned bad. He hurt him again. And back to his feet. Final seconds of round three. and it hurt his opponent very bad. Man, this fight has been pretty wild. A lot of high-octane output on both sides, and candidly, neither fighter looking too good here. <laughs> it's the output. I mean, both of these guys have got their foot on the gas from the start of the fight. They've worked really, really hard to get to where they are right now. They're both going to have to rely on the toughness to drag them through the very difficult moments. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. Ready to fight. Ready. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Nice liver shot, guys. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Front kick is there. Nice job by Choi. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. 
What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. These guys are leaking all over each other. There's that left hand. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Costa's really bleeding something fierce now. That cut's not getting any better. We got the best cut men in the game. Gotta think they're gonna be busy in between rounds. so consistently. He's got to be careful here. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Once more, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Boy, Du Ho Choi. Du Ho Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen, a huge win for the Korean Super Boy.